I am bored and I need primo gems. So we do very, very creative video. I'm farming a ton today. We're going to start off here because I like to go to these trees where I can get pools and I will do the farming there. And this is currently the closest tree. It's technically a little bit different because we're not farming just chests or whatever. But, uh, you know, we will still go farm in Dragonspine. Now, goal for today is to get our seven pools up to 20. So, without further ado, I'm pulling up the interactive map and we are going to go farming like crazy and do a bunch of work at Dragonspine. I'm currently at 30% and I have just finished this quest up here. Okay, so about half an hour in now to farming and I've farmed basically sort of this area is all done i've got most of the stuff from there so with the pace we're looking at we could probably get there's a lot it's a lot more densely packed over this side but we could probably get like at least like half of dragon spine sorted out with the pace we're currently going and we are sitting at 200 pools now so we have already gained about a pool although i do remember now why i do not like farming in dragon spine and that is because the stupid freeze thing is incredibly painful. Where you're always searching for something to stop you from dying to the cold. Now, while I would go for like as many pools as I could, like fully 100% in the area, or go like, I don't know, 30, 40 pools or something, I have been farming way too much in this account, and I am very, very much over it. So I am only farming what is completely necessary. And yes, I know we have been doing a lot of videos on this account recently. We haven't done much on any of my other accounts, but that is purely just because there is not much I can do on any of my other accounts. And now we've ticked over the one hour mark. We I don't, I don't think we did as much chest gathering in that second half an hour. We are now up to, yeah, we didn't get much more. And with that, that is basically every, well, not basically, is everything that i know of from sort of all of there these sort of waypoints that rough area yeah i've got everything up there which puts us at a nice solid 374 no 47 which gives us two more pulls took us about an hour so that puts us at nine pulls and then obviously we have a couple more things to throw into this tree which i will see how much we can throw into it currently we should have a decent amount maybe not enough to go up another couple levels but we have 18. we only need then yeah we don't need too many more i think about maybe 12. yes 12 because we need 10 for each level we currently have eight so we are pretty close which is good let's work our way down let's go from sort of this point and work this bottom bit here not there just sort of this this little bit there get all that done and then i can work on over here and eventually we'll get around to doing the stuff in the middle as we get to underground and not underground and all that and it gets quite confusing so let's go do more farming ah so after having to go to our trusty friend google turns out that there is a scarlet quartz that's what they're called over sort of here somewhere and that's that's how you do it because that would be really easy to figure out on your own. And there we go. This is the little thing we need. And just like that. Boom. We get, we do get a luxurious chest though. So I will take it. That's better than I thought we were going to get. But that does now mean that this sort of from this point here. Following these sort of waypoints around almost. Not quite. There's a couple of chests underground there. But sort of above ground following them around is sort of we've got everything outside of that there's quite a bit inside of that but all that sort of underground stuff for the time being though let me go chuck these crimson agate into the tree get two pools there and then i am going to go do daily commission stuff or just you know claim them from catherine and do the event why do they make us offer it individually that's annoying i d honestly don't really care because boom just like that two more intertwined fates that does also give us two uh these pools standard pools so let's see if we get anything maybe a four star no nothing awesome 
Let's go do this quest and event stuff. And there we go. With much pain and suffering, we're done with that. Fighting events are never really fun on this account because we don't do enough damage. And the only reason we can actually get through it all is because I just slap Nouvellet and Coleraine on every single side. We are now two hours into the grind, I think, or two, two and a half hours into the grind. I don't know, I stopped recording. So I can't remember what we were at last time I did the recording, but I think it was around like, yeah, we're at like two hours or so now. Okay, so with that event done and daily commissions and all of that stuff, we grab another two, which now puts us up to 13 pools. Let's work through all of these. I'm surprised I haven't already done the ones in Mondstadt, but hey, I will take it. I've done, I think, one of them. This will just be really, really easy clears then because these domains are pretty easy. You know they're weak when Fremen can one-shot them. That's when you know enemies are really, really weak. 40 Primos plus another 5 from there. And a key, I'm pretty sure. We'll just go and collect all of the keys from the regions. We'll do all the one in Monster, and then I'll go spend all the keys. Then we'll do all the ones in Liwei and whatever. And that was really easy. Plus, we got more Primos from that. Moving around. Have we already done this one? We have not. Okay. That was incredibly easy. Okay. And I think that's all the ones in Mondstadt. Awesome. Okay. Now we find shrines. There's obviously one there because I've got it marked on the map. And we go spend keys. Ooh, you know what I could do that I just realized? We could get this up where you just need to defeat Electro, Animo, and Geo Hypostasis. So I actually may go do that because that'll give us... I should find this last shrine, but that'll give us 100 primos. Gotta love how easy these first bosses are. You know, Animo Hypostasis, Electro Hypostasis, all those ones. They're so easy. We can grab one of them. Awesome. Couldn't quite get it down first phase. That's fine, though. It will not take us very long to get this last one down. Just kind of boop. There we go. And just like that, Hypostasis is down. We don't get an achievement for that, but we do get one of them. Now we just have to deal with this Geo one, which is never fun to get to. Just like that, he is down, which means claim that and boom, 100 primos. Now this is just get the statue up to level 9, we can't quite do that, and there's quite a bit here. Now we can actually, I forgot this existed, I just kind of saw a wind thing and followed it. But uh, this island, we can get a luxurious chest from. I do need another player, so... uh. Let me grab my phone. We're in. N not kidding, it took like 10 minutes for my phone to just load up Genshin. But, uh, oh well. And I've, I logged into the wrong account. Whoopsies. And there we go. Third time is the charm. Boom. I am into my own world. And boom, just like that, we get a luxurious chest. Awesome. Well, thank you, me. You can, you can leave now. We don't, don't need you anymore. Bye-bye. And now with that, we can finish off today with one more pool, putting us up to 17, which means we only need to get three pools tomorrow. So I'll see you all tomorrow, and we will get this last pool, or last three pools we need, to get us up to 20 pools, which then should get us pretty well, maybe not like exactly, but should get us pretty close to pity for Emily. Which means that when we do pull for Emily, which will be the next video probably, unless I start pulling and I need more pulls and I can't get it out in time. Otherwise, it will won't be the next video. It might be the other one after that. Shush, Nuvalet. And we get Emily. We'll have enough pulls and everything will be lovely because we'll have another character that we can use. So yeah, with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow. It is time for round two. It's the next day and we are farming more again so i'm gonna do what i said and we're going to do these today because this will be our best bet for quick and easy primos and we'll obviously get in chests or teleport over points why we'll do them although if we do get sort of kind of close to if we only like we're only like one pull away i might just go get more than one pull and i'll end up getting like i don't know finishing off dragon swine or something just because then we'd have more pools to play with when it actually comes to when I do record pulling for Emily, we will have more pools to mess around with then. 45 primos there. On to the next one. Now, I don't remember the order for this one. No, there is an order. 
I guess we just try to figure it out. Okay, second time's the charm, I guess. That works. I only tried it twice, so hell yeah. I was expecting that to be a lot more difficult, but I just randomly picked some and it worked. Now we are looking at higher levels now. We're at level 60 and 70. So this should actually be not more difficult, but slightly more difficult than all of the other ones. And it was indeed slightly more difficult. But 45 more primos, and we're on to the next one, which is still at the same domain. But now it is level 70, which is harder. Oh, and this is one of those like exploration-y kind of ones. The kinds where it's not just go in, defeat a bunch of enemies, and then leave. And they're all like in the same spot. This one's exploration-y kind of. Which means in theory we should get more primos because we get more chests, I think. As long as they still give us a pressure chest, precious chest at the end. And we do indeed get a precious chest at the end of this, which is good. That means we get an extra like, what, two or two or three primos? Nothing insane, but I'll take it. That is two or three primos more than we would have had. Now we are done with this domain. On to the next domain. These ones in blue are pretty easy. And then this one, we do need Geo, and I know that for a fact, so that may not work now that I think of it, because we can't use Geo because we don't have Geo. Ooh, that might be fun. Okay, uh, I'm still going to try it anyway and see if I can do a little sneaky and, I don't know, break the domain or something, I don't know. Just try something, because I would still like to do it, because it gives us good stuff. Yeah, we need to, we need to be up there. And uh, I don't know about you, but that does not seem like somewhere we can just kind of cheat our way up to. Unless we just jump off underneath it. Nope, you, you, can't, you, you can't jump off. Okay. We can't climb this, can we? Yeah, no. Okay. So I'd say I don't think we're going to be able to get around this. Because we need Geo for it. And that's something we can't really get our hands on. Because we don't have Navia. And that's the only Geo we can use. Well, let's go and put the keys that we do have into the Shrine of Depths. Once I've dealt with this guy. We have three keys, I think. Yeah, three keys. Which means we have three Shrine of Depths. So, let's just go chuck some keys in the Shrines of Depths. You ever realize how terrifying the shadow of Linny climbing is? That is not very nice looking. And there we go, the last one. Boom. What are we sitting at pool wise? 333. That gives us two more pools already, which is pretty good. So, you know, because why not? I feel like I might as well go 100% uh, Dragon Spine. Because, I mean, why not? I probably need more, more pulls anyway, and we don't have much left. It would be funny having this account 100% Dragon Spine before any of my other ones. So, screw it, why not? I'm going to go work on Dragon Spine more now, because I don't really want to deal with these these ones, these domains over here. I, have, I don't even know how to get to this one. I've been trying on all of my accounts, so I don't even know how to get there. And, yeah, they're all just generally not very fun to get to the ones over in here. And the ones in, in, in Zuma are the same. They're just not very fun to try to unlock. So I'm not even going to bother with it. We are going to Dragon Spine. That, that had to be the easiest luxurious chest in the world. Just place three flowers. Boom, luxurious chest. It didn't give us any primos though. Okay. Then it's a useless uh, luxurious chest. Okay, now that is basically all of this area done so the only bits we have left is around like just that in the middle which is pretty good there is two sealies over here there's one sort of in the middle of the ocean about there which i don't know if i've already gotten and the other one over here spawns in Albedo's quest, which is why I'm not sure about this one, because it might also spawn there. I know, but yeah. So there's two CLEs over here, which I haven't gotten, but I'm not doing Albedo's story quest. So now we just work around the last little bits around here. Been going for basically an hour, so should only have about an hour or so left, which is nice. That's what I'd like to see. 
This is already like a five hour recording, which is not as nice, but most of it's not talking, so it makes it easier to edit. Oh, and for any, for anyone wondering, we're at 40, 444. That's a very nice number. I like very clean numbers, which means we get two more pulls and we are very close then to a third, more, a third pull. So we will definitely be able to get that 20 pulls pretty easily, I'd assume. Now I'm very confused of where we're supposed to be looking, so I'm just running with the idea of just see things and then mark it off and then deal with stuff later because I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking. So this works because this is one of the main reasons, not only this stupid free stuff, but also this specific area right here is one of the reasons why I do not like Dragon Spine. You have to deal with these multiple layers that never make any sense and I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking. So I just kind of end up running around and not really understanding anything. Okay, so I'm slowly getting close to finishing up now. We're at like almost two hours. But we have painful, painful stuff because there is this chest in here. And we're currently sitting at like 97, I think, percent world exploration. Yeah, 97%. And I'm only going until the games is 100%, not till I say 100% because it is very, very painful and I'm not dealing with this. Now I'm just missing, the painful bit about this is I'm missing one, just one of the little things you've got to light up. And I don't know which one it is, so I have to go to all of them. Okay, sure, surely this is, surely this is the one. I've just been, have, I just have a thing on the, in the background and I'm just looking at all of them. Surely this is the one, there is no way that I have already gotten this. My brain would not, yeah, this is the one. Thank God, because I was going to say there is absolutely no way that my that I would have seen that and gone, oh, I'm going to unlock that because I wouldn't even seen that full stop. And just like that, there we go. Now we can unlock this thingy and get chests. Now it puts us at 98%, so I just need like a couple more chests from somewhere. I feel like I'm missing something here. These, I think I need to light these up. Aha, I did indeed need to light those up. We get this, which is a claymore, I'm pretty sure. Doubt it's going to be very useful because we only have Fremen, eh? However, I will take it. Physical damage. I mean, I guess it could work for if I want to build f physical uh, Fremen. Okay, well, looks like I need to do still a little bit more farming because we are only at that 98%, so I need a little bit more, which is painful because that means that I've got to deal with more underground stuff. Yeah, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be looking anymore, so I'm just climbing. I'm not dealing with underground stuff. I'm just going to... It, I know it looks like there might be something up here. I have looked underground and I can't find anything. So I'm just just turning into a mountain goat. We're going up and we're gonna, I don't know, hopefully find something. Oh my god, it's done. Frick this, I'm leaving. No, get get me get me the hell out of Dragon Spine. A hundred percent of it. I, I it's not a fully hundred percent. There's still stuff in the interactive map. But screw that, I'm not doing it. I'm out. I'm leaving. Bye. It got, it got so bad to the point where you start teasing characters' voice lines. When you start doing that, that's when you know you've been farming for too long. And I've been farming for like five hours or something. Not like in a row, but like I have... I've been farming for two hours in a row today. And I did like three hours or something yesterday. I can't remember. Pain is what that is. Especially in Dragon Spine. It's lots of pain. But uh, we do have Dragon Spine 100% now. So that's a, that's a flex. No one who is actually sane 100% is Dragon Spine. That region you go to twice. That does mean though, now with all of that farming, we have 700 primos. That was a lot more than I was expecting, although I will happily take it because that was painful. So boom, four more pulls, which is actually how many I said I wanted to get today. And we have a lot more. So now I have 21. We have one more pull than what I wanted, so that I'll take it. 21, 83 primos. We should be sweet for Pulling for Emily. So that being said, I am over this. I've been farming too long. I'm I'm sick of farming. I'm never I'm never farming again. All weight chest. I am not going to be doing any long farming videos or long farming sessions for a good minute because God is this painful. So with that being said, I am leaving it off here because I need to get this vid video edited and also I'm sick of I'm sick of farming. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye.